heavy rainfall can lead to numerous hazards for example flooding including risks to human life damage to buildings and infrastructure and loss of crops and livestock landslides which can threaten human life disrupt transport and communications and cause damage to buildings and to infrastructure effect of heavy rainfall in urban areas can be overcome by proper drainage discharge of storm water or rain water drainage discharge includes storm water and surface water that is waste water from households it will be considered 80% of the water supply to the households let us know the design procedure for storm water drainage system after watching this video everyone can design drain cross section with simple excel software by giving input data now come to design procedure first of all uh, find out the longitudinal section along the uh, drain where the starting point to ending point by taking survey uh, survey along the drain that fix the ground levels and uh, draw the longitudinal section nowadays uh, in advance of the technologies the google earth is very useful for uh, proper uh, design of the drain cross section by using google earth we have to take the longitudinal section from starting point to ending point and take the cross section longitudinal cross section also now come to second point is to calculate the catchment areas at 250 meter intervals or at the junctions of secondary drains fix maximum water levels along the proposed drain such that ground levels the top of secondary drains joining the proposed primary or outfall drain calculate force at 250 meters intervals or at junctions of secondary drains assuming the rate of flow as use the rational method as given in cpho manual on water storm water drainage system 2019 volume 1 part a engineering design where the q is equal to 10 ca q means the it is the peak discharge in meter cube per hour that is enough c is coefficient of discharge that coefficient can varies uh, surface to surface then that can be uh, known uh, in the table coming table i is average rainfall intensity in mm for hour to be taken for the duration of rainfall equal to the time of concentration a is catchment area in hectare this catchment area also taken from um, google earth by considering the area for recommended design return period for various types of urban catchments is given in the table 4.5 also attached in the description that is urban catchment uh, return period for class 1 cities and other cities what is the class 1 cities is the population is more than 1 lakh and uh, other cities means the population is uh, less than 1 lakh now come to runoff coefficient of various surface uh, as uh, mentioned above but type of area and runoff coefficient that is uh, for commercial areas it is uh, considered uh, coefficient is 0.7 to 0.95 industrial area 0.6 to 0.9 like that uh, different uh, 
type of areas uh, is given the runoff coefficients weighted average runoff coefficient of uh, catchment areas uh, containing different character of surfaces for a flow concentrating at a point may be estimated as weighted average of c values of different type of urban surfaces should be calculated by c is equal to c1 into c2 plus c2 into a2 plus c3 into a3 like this where c1 c2 c3 are runoff coefficients of urban surfaces a1 a2 a3 are areas of respect to urban surfaces land use in future shall be considered that is some of the existing open areas may be converted to into a habitat areas in future thus increasing the flows also slopes will increase runoff assume section for a each leg and calculate velocity adopting manning's formula where v is equal to r to the power of 2 by 3 into s to the power of 1 by 2 by n v is velocity in meter per second or hydraulic radius to calculate flow area a in square meters divided by wetted perimeter p in meters s is drain slope n is manning's coefficient depending upon the nature of inside surface of drain use n value 0.015 for plastered surfaces majority of the drains are plastered by 12 mm thick or 20 mm thick then you can use 0.015 as a manning's coefficient other surfaces those are given in table number 5.1 that is coefficient of roughness for channel flow for use in manning's formula self glazed stoneware pipes that is good condition is 0.012 fair 0.015 like this in this table also attached in the uh, description now come to the maximum minimum velocity in uh, gravity system yes considered minimum velocity is 0.6 meters per second and maximum velocity is 3 meters per second the open drainage system is designed based on the gravity base so that uh, the minimum velocity is uh, as taken as uh, self cleaning velocity and uh, maximum velocity is 3 meters per second to control the Uh, the erosion of the drain or to control the uh, flow of the uh, flow of the uh, water where the velocity is it is more then we have to um, uh, provide the junctions for hilly regions maximum velocity to be permitted in the storm water uh, conduits should be 6 meters per second for uh, plastic pipes or other pipes uh, lined with uh, plastic and now check for uh, adequacy of the assumed or drain section to discharge the calculated flow q and uh, the velocity v meters per meters per second in the drain section in within 0.6 to 3 meters per second if the capacity of the drain is insufficient assume another section and repeat the procedure till the carrying capacity of drain section is approximately equals to the flow expected design the section of drain for each leg provide the necessary free broad also propose cover slabs depending upon the depth of the drain and surrounding habitation examine whether sufficient width of land is available need for land acquisition 
and removal of encroachments as far as possible try to align large drains away from habitation and commercial areas calculate cost based on proposed length and cross section of different drain sections by following above the procedure let us come to i have given a small uh, simple look excel uh, software by giving input data and uh, have to find out the discharge it includes dry weather flow and uh, wet weather flow and uh, the velocity the velocity calculated within the limit of 0.6 to 3 meters then finally find out the cross section of the drain by giving uh, assumed section whether that uh, assumed section is uh, sufficient to discharge the uh, uh, storm water or otherwise repeat it to change the uh, dimensions of the cross section and finally let us know the is the cross sections to be provided for sullage section sullage water discharge and storm water discharge generally nowadays the drains are constructing uh, with uh, considering the storm water during the rainy season that section is sufficient to discharge but uh, in the dry weather flow non rainy season the sullage comes from households is uh, quantity is very less then the self canning velocity is not maintained then the water is uh, stagnated on drain and creates unhygiene to the surrounding and as well as leads to mosquito breeding and other uh, health complications and so sorry every cross section to be designed with sullage cross section and as well as uh, storm water the it will work for dry weather flow as well as wet weather flow this should be mind now come to the analysis of the excel software now first of all we calculate the catchment area by using google earth let us the drain uh, uh, find out the drain length and the how much catchment area to be served to the uh, drain then that can be taken like this as i have shown uh, in this one by using google earth then comes to longitudinal section from starting point to ending point you draw like this and find out the slope slope along the uh, drain by using this slope we, by using this total discharge of dry weather and uh, um, wet weather from these two we find out the minimum and maximum velocities then we'll conclude the drain cross section it's very simple and easy method the excel software is attached in the link is attached in the description everyone should download this excel software then try it for a simple drain then we'll find out the what the cross section it is very useful for junior engineers now are in andhra pradesh many of the ward dominant sectors are working on designing of the drainage system water supply buildings and all these things that this part is very important to, during rainy season to avoid the inundation of the important places and public uh, usages and all these things thank you for uh, watching this video and new ones can subscribe this video for more technical um, awareness videos thank you very much